Hey guys, so just like I said last video, Karen got me to read chapter 18 to me. I'm going to, to read you guys chapter 19. Oh, Mrs. Thompson, Akimi called out. I need to use my library key in prison. Is she about this guy? Kaiden? That's about the beauty of behind being a team. After we bombed. Well, so mine was still of yours. The hologram library appeared and it advised Akimi, the Huckleberry Finn, and advised that Akimi that Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain was the book located right underneath the holographic image of Dr. Seuss and the cat in the head. After Mrs. Towns had vanished, Kylie and Akimi used their desktop computers to find a call on this for Huckleberry Finn. Kyle grabbed a pen and scribbled it down on his palm. Are you going to do what I think you're going to do, said Akimi? Yep, I'm going to go up there, post in my room to go that night with the hologram, reach over to the window, and push it open, and stick out my hand. Technically, I will have to find out find my way out of the room. Nothing else that I can offer outside. We have had to go to win. You could fall. I don't think so. I, I really I wire you like a monkey. I'm wiry like a monkey. Seriously, Kyle? It isn't worth it. Um, yes, it is. I Did I mention I want to win? You should have Im uh, improvised a safety harness to just to rules. Huh? Well, in the adventure book I read once, the hero is a very simple paramedic. So he removes the curl harness wires from the seven several telephones, bundle them together, and made a safety rope. Ten minutes later, when Kaya, Kaylee, Akimi, and Siri had stripped the splint wires of a couple of telephone harnesses, Kaylee looped the cables around his waist and tied the other end to the hole of the hover ladder. When fully extended, the safety rope would stretch out to a little more than 20 feet. It should work. Be careful up there, said Akimi. Yes, said Siri. Serene. You, who wasn't reading the book anymore, apparently watching real life personal risk, real life people risking his life doing something really, really scary, was one thing more exciting than anything. Kylie locked his feet into the Hover ladder ski boot. Brack brackets. Here we go. Seriously. Er lined race through his body as he trapped the call tapped the call number for Huckleberry Finn into the hover ladder's located locator keypad. When he opened the window, said so Kimi, just show it's just shout I found a way out and we went. Right, so all three of us, huh? Hey, Serena, come up with a safety rope idea. She's on her team now. Fine. Whatever, just don't break your neck. Not part of the plan, Kylie. Press the enter rope, the enter button to the con control pad. On the control pad, the platform floated up off the ground and drifted slightly to the right. Be careful, said Akimi. Watch it. I'm doing, not doing anything, said Kai. Thing, the thing game jiggle is nothing, is nothing. Oh, the work. I'm just along for to for the ride. Kylie gripped the handles. The platform was higher and higher. He slid past books up the by the top. Tilting back his head, he looked up at the, his statue 
project into the curb next to the arch windows. The Herulian next to a thoughtful African American man in a three piece suit and a bow tie. A guy with long curly hair, old fashioned colors, and a rock looking glass. A hairdo in a scruffy shape hiding behind. Cut in the letter P and D. A bald guy with a beard sends the statue who will nearly half the graphic projections. The cheers type labels floating in front of the projections. The Chinese type labels floating in front of the pedestals. In in front of the famous people were the ones the ones closest to Kelly was George Brown with the with Carl doc, Dr. Seuss and my as he continued to climb her head the self world of a chin invisibility lifting him towards the sand. And the, he heard something much more what is a ridiculous idea turned to the sick. He's standing on the second floor back to me as far as he said. You know, Key, I thought about doing the same thing, but I know something you know, they are wired in a security screens on the side of those windows. The other cut went down to a stop from joy, staring at staring at the ceiling could interrupt to one yet another day in Kylie and, and grab hold of the leg beneath Dr. Seuss. But he tried to haul himself up to his feet, but his feet wouldn't budge. Haul himself, but his feet wouldn't budge. They were all in the place where the steep clearance and the beast to the skylight. Tuck and see the, the ch that turned to his right. There was no security screen on the other side of the window. Tuck checked his wristwatch. It was 1 p.m. He had. He and his teammates had wasted an hour on the lame window idea. He sighed heavily and started up a quizzing, a quizzing Seuss's project in the books above head. The cat in the hat mouth started to move, think left and think right, and think low and think high. Kylie recognized the book. It was Miss Ram and Charlie's oak. That thinks you can think up if you only try. In other words, Kylie was back to square one. He needed to think up a whole new escape plan. The ladder began a slow, low, and steady distance to the floor. Even though Kylie and Kylie hadn't pushed a button, don't even listen to Smarty Pants Charles as he could. Kylie cut them when it was a shot of Zeus. A blood clustering scream came in as he stood there. That's Haley, said Kimi. I saw her go downstairs. That's where the stacks are. I need to see. Come on, said Kylie. She couldn't be serious. She could be seriously in trouble. You should never have your competition to you. Soft golfed Charles as he as we strolled down the stretches, unless of course you always play to lose. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>